Right here I have this sleep sound machine. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with. This is everything that comes inside the box besides the user manual. We have the power cord right here, and then we have the actual sound machine right here. Let's go ahead and plug this in so that we can check out its main features. Now that I have this all plugged in and ready to go, let me go ahead and turn it on. Right here in the back, we have the power button as well as the mode switching option. And in the front, these are actual touch buttons. So right over here on the side, there is the volume and it does have the little icons here. If you want this to be louder, you're just gonna swipe your hand up. If you want it to be softer sound or quieter, you're just gonna swipe your hand down. To stop, you're just gonna press the very top. And to adjust the lighting, you're going to make it brighter. You're gonna swipe your finger up. If you want it to be more dim, you're going to swipe your finger down. So I do like that you can use this manually, but you can also download the app and it makes it really nice and convenient to use as well. So let me go ahead and turn this on. You're just gonna long press the power. This has so many different lighting effects and it also does show the time right down here, which you can obviously adjust to your own time. And as I mentioned earlier, you can make this light a lot more dim just by swiping your finger right here and making it brighter as well as the volume on this side. I did wanna go ahead and show you the app. I just downloaded this. The app is really nice and easy to use. I already connected it to this item here. And you can see automatically every time it switches a sound, it changes the lighting effect to kind of go with the same theme of the sound, which I think is really cool. We have several different quick start tabs on here. So for example, if you wanna use this for meditation, for sleep, for yoga, or set a custom situation for yourself, there are so many different options. For the meditation mode right here, it actually has some progressive relaxation, like with some speaking. We have some singing bowl healing. We have some soothing soft piano music. As well as some other fun ones. I do really like that you can adjust the lighting as well as the sound on here as well. You can see I made this the full brightness and you can take it down all the way to no light at all. You can also turn on the lamp option, which just makes it more of a bright light. And you can set an alarm as well as set a routine as well. Something that I think is really cool about this app is you can also use so many different settings. For example, you can have some classic stories read to you. This sound is actually gonna be transferred to your phone. And you can also have bedtime stories read to your little ones, which I think is really cool as well. We also have some kid options as far as for storytelling. But there are so many different options on here that go with some really pretty colors on the Oasis as well. On this mood option, you can select so many different options from different actual songs, singing bowl sounds, even some different nature as well as animal sounds. So you can see on this option here under sleep, we can actually go to beach bonfire, for example. And you can see the really beautiful sound that comes from this. And on top of that, I don't know if you can tell, but it just looks like there is a little burning fire here that goes with the beautiful sound of the waves and the crackling fire, which I think is so nice and relaxing. There are 26 different kinds of ambient light effects as well as six different scene modes. It also supports custom lighting effects. This is such a fun addition for both bedrooms as well as living rooms or even offices. And this is such a nice option to not only hear some good sound quality, but to also relieve life and work stress. Overall, I absolutely love how easy this is to use, how user-friendly it is to download the app, and how you can use it both manually as well as with the app itself.